Inside this building, in these labs, there is one mission. One single aim and one single goal. We are developing a cure. One mission, steady and firm. We are strongly uh, convinced and committed to stay completely focused on cure research. And at the Diabetes Research Institute, there are reasons to believe the mission will be accomplished. Every single person at the DRI is here because they believe in their ability to develop something that's going to contribute to a cure. That's hands down why we're here. They're driven by passion and a sense of urgency, only pursuing ideas with the greatest potential to help patients. We're not just developing a paper, we're not just developing a grant, we're not just developing a cool experiment. We are moving this forward. I personally think about children with diabetes every time I approach a single experiment in my laboratory. If I think it's a cool experiment, but I don't see a big impact on the quest for a cure, I don't do it. That's something that, that not only makes this institute unique, but makes me believe that it's something that's going to result in a cure. Another reason to believe, DRI scientists from a variety of fields are pursuing the cure together. We work as a team and we, have, we all have different expertise, so we can attack the problem from all different points of view. We have immunologists, we have stem cell biologists, we have bioengineers, we are interacting all the time, we are trying to tackle the disease from many different angles. And that's a unique component of the DRI. And at the DRI, scientists can move or translate research from basic science in the lab to clinical trials with patients, all under one roof. The translational approach that we have, I think it's absolutely unique. But they say the greatest reason to believe is because of the progress achieved so far, reversing diabetes in patients in clinical trials by transplanting insulin-producing islet cells with increasingly better results. We know that islets work. They can work long-term in preclinical models that are very similar to human. They can work long-term in humans. There's absolutely no doubt about that. Now, the focus is to build on that progress, to perfect new approaches that will overcome remaining challenges. That's what drives me every day, is I know that it's feasible. It's been done in, in a setting that's not ideal. So if we can engineer something that's going to create an even better site, and move the field forward, we're going to have something that's going to be more clinically relevant, that's going to apply to a greater patient population and one in which we hope will develop a cure for every type 1 diabetic. We have already a cell therapy that works, which is islet cell transplantation. We know what to do in order to correct the disease. If we can make this therapy, which is now experimental, available to millions of people by using stem cells, we have a reason to believe. There are sufficient elements of hope and progress in the last five years to justify our renewed interest and enthusiasm in cure-focused research. Progress to give us a great hope that a cure could be within a reach. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. I've been